grace and virtue abundantly endued, the safeguard of England, and maintainer of right, that God you loveth, indeed he hath well shewed. Wherefore I trust this land shall be renewed with joy and riches, with charity and peace, so that old rancor is new understrewed, tempestuous troubles and wretchedness shall cease. Two, and therefore sith I see by tokens right evident that God you guideth, and how that you be virtuous, hating sin, and all such as be insolent, how that also manslaughter to you is odious. Upon the injument also that you be piteous, me seemeth Ruth it were, but that you should live long. For of your great fortune you are not presumptuous, nor vengeable of spirit to revenge you of each wrong. 3. These considered with others in your most noble state, like as God knoweth, and people do witness bear, so entirely me moveth, that I must algate record the same. And therein be no flatterer, and not that only, but also to write here unto your highness, humbly to present great secrets, which in far countries I did learn, and which by grace to me most unworthy are lent. 4. Once to your lordship such things I did promise, what time you did command to send unto me, and sith that I wrote it in secret wise unto your grace from the University of Lewain. When God fortuned me by grace to see greater secrets and much more perfect, which only to you I will disclose to be, that is the great elixir, both red and white. 5. For like it you to trust that truly I have found the most perfect way and most secret alchemy, which I will never truly for mark nor for pound make common but to you, and that conditionally. That to yourself you shall keep it full secretly, and use it as may be to God's pleasure, else in time coming to God I should obey for my discoursing of his secret treasure. 6. Therefore be you well advised, and with good deliberation, for of this secret shall know no other creature but only you, as I make faithful protestation. For all the time that here in life I shall endure, whereto I will your lordship me ensure, to my desire and this my oath for to agree, least I to me the wrath of God procure, for such revealing of his great gift and privity. 7. If God fortune you by me to win this treasure, serve him devoutly with more laud and thanking, praying his Godhead in life that you may so endure his gifts of grace. And fortune to use to his pleasing, most especially intending over all thing, to your power and cunning his precepts ten, so to observe that into no danger yourself you bring, but that you in glory may see him hereafter. Amen. Eight, and yet moreover, I will your lordship to pardon me, for openly with pen I will it never write, but whensoever you list by practice you shall see, by mouth also this precious secret most of delight. How may be made perfect elixirs, both red and white, plain unto your lordship it shall declare be, and if it please you, with easy expenses and respite, I will them work by grace of the Trinity. 9. But notwithstanding for peril that may befall, if I dare not hear plainly the knot unbind, yet in my writing I will not be so mystical, but that to study the true knowledge you may find, how each thing is multiplied in its kind, and how the likeness of bodies metaline be transmutable, I will declare, that if you feel me in your mind my writing, you shall find true and no feigned fable. 10. As philosophers and methiers do write, the likeness of bodies metaline be not transmutable, but after be added these words of more delight, without they be reduced to their beginning materiable. Wherefore such bodies within nature be liquiable, mineral and metaline may be mercurizate, conceive you may this science is not opinionable, but very true, by Raymond and others, determinate. 11. In the said book, the philosophers speak also, therein if it please you highness for to read, of divers sulfurs, and especially of two, and of two mercuries joined to them indeed, whereby he doth true understanders lead to knowledge of the principle which is only true, both red, most pure, and white, as I have espied, which be nevertheless found but a very few. 12. And these two things be best, be added anon, for him that worked the alchemy to take our gold and our silver therewith to make all one, wherefore I say, who will our pearl and ruby make? The said principles look he not forsake, for at the beginning, if his principles be true, so be by craft he can them also bake, his work he shall not rue and truly. 13. But one great secret right needful to be known, that though the philosophers speak plurally, all is but one thing you may me well trow, in kind which is our base principally, whereof doth spring both white and red naturally, and yet the white must come first out of the red which thing is not wrought manually, but naturally craft helping out of our lead. 14. For all the parts of our most precious stone, as I can prove, be coessential and concrete. Moreover, there is no true principle but one, full long it was ere I therewith could meet. Who can reduce him and knoweth his heat, and only kind with kind can well redress till filthy original he cleansed from his seat, he likely is to find our secrets more and less. 15. 
therefore work kind only with his own kind, and so your elements join that they not strive. This point also for any bear in mind, that passive natures you turn into active of water, fire, and wind of earth make blind, quickly or gladly, and of the quadrangle make a figure round. Then have thou the honey of thy beehive, one ounce well worth one thousand pound. 16. The principal secret of secrets all is true proportion which may not be behind, wherein I counsel thee be not superficial, the true conclusion if thou thick to find. Turn earth into water, and water into wind, thereof make fire, and beware of the flood of Noah, wherein many men are so blind that by this science they get little good. 17. I counsel you eat and drink temperately, and beware well that Iposarcha come not in place, gnash not your womb by drinking immoderately, lest you quench natural heat in little space. The color will tell appearing in your face. Drink no more, therefore, than you may eat. Walk up and down after an easy pace. Cause not your body too sore to sweat. 18. With easy fire after moving when you sweat, warm your body and make it dry again. By rivers and fountains walk after meat. At morning time visit the high mountain. That physic so bad and I reach certain. So high the mountains yet do you not ascend, but that you may downward your way have plain. And with your mantle from gold do you defend. 19. Such labor is wholesome for your sweat to dry with napkin, and after it see you take no cold, for gross humors be purged by sweat kindly. Use diacameron, then confect with perfect gold hermeticals for watery humors, good I hold. Use ipericon perforet with milk of tinctural, and spermacete with red wine. When you wax old and goat's milk sod with wine nourisheth moisture radical. 20. But a good physician who so intendeth to be, our lower astronomy needs well to know, and after it need to learn well urine in a glass to see, and if it need to be hence the fire for to blow, then whittly it by divers ways for to throw after the cause to make a, a medicine blive quickly, truly telling the infirmities all in a row, who this can do by his physic is like to thrive. 21. We have our heaven incorruptible of the quintessence, ornate with signs, elements, and stars bright, which moistened our earth by subtile influence, and of it a secret sulfur hid from sight. It fetcheth by virtue of his active might, like a bee fetcheth honey out of the flowers, which thing could do no other worldly white. Therefore to God be all glory and honor. 22. And like as ice to water doth relent, when it was congealed by violence of cold, when Phoebus yet shineth with his heat influent, even so to water mineral reduced is our gold. As witnesseth plainly Albert, Raymond, and Arnold, by heat and moisture and by craft occasion it, which congelation of the spirits, lo, now I have told, how our materials together must be proportionate. 23. At the dyer's craft you may learn this science, beholding with water how decoction they make upon a woad or matter easily, and with patience, till tinctures do appear which one the cloth doth take. They are in so fixed that they will never forsake the cloth for washing after they join B. Even so our tinctures with water of our lake we draw by boiling with the ashes of Hermes tree. 24. Which tinctures when they by craft are made perfect, so dyeth metals with colors eye permanent, after the qualities of medicine, red or white, that never away by any fire will be brent. To this example, if you take good tent, unto your purpose the rather you shall win, and let your fire be easy and not too fervent. Where nature did leave off, what time look you begin? 25. First calcine, and after that putrefy, dissolve, distill, sublime, descend, and fix, with aqua vitae oftentimes both wash and dry, and make a marriage the body and spirit B2XT, which thus together naturally, if you can mix, in loosing of the body, the water congealed shall be. Then shall the body die utterly of the flicks, bleeding and changing his colors, as you shall see. 26. The third day again to life he shall arise, and devour birds and beasts of the wilderness, crows, popinjays, pies, peacocks, and mavies, the phoenix, with the eagle. And the griffon of the green lion with the red dragon he shall distress, with the white dragon, and the antelope, unicorn, and panther, with other beasts and birds, both more and less the basiliski also, which almost each one doth fear. 27. In bus and newbie bus he shall arise and descend up to the moon, and sith up to the sun through the ocean sea, which round doth bend, only shippen within a little glass ton, when he is there come. Then is the journey done, about which journey great goods you shall not spend. And yet you shall be glad that ever it was begun, patiently if you list your work attend. 28. For then both body and spirit, also both oil and water, soul and tincture, one thing both white and red, after colors variable it containeth whatsoever men clatter, which also is called after he hath once been dead and is revived, our marcasite, our magnet, and our lead, our sulfur, our arsenic, and our true calyx vive, our sun, our moon, 
our ferment and our bread, our toad, our basiliski, our unknown body, our man, our wife. 29. Our body thus naturally by craft when he is renovated of the first order. Is medicine called in our philosophy, which oftentimes again must be spiritual eight, the round wheel turning of our astronomy. And so to the elixir of spirits you must come. For why to the son of the fixed? By the son of the fixer be overgone, elixir of bodies, nemmed it is only, and this sound secret point deceiveth many in one. 30. This natural process by help of craft, thus consummate, dissolveth elixir spiritual in our unctuous humpteddy, then in balneomeria together let them be circulate like new honey or oil. Till perfectly they be thickened, then will that medicine heal all infirmity, and turn all metals to sun and moon perfectly thus, you shall make the great elixir in orum potabile, by the grace and will of God, to whom be all honor and glory. Eamon Quad George Ripley, Finis.